different way, Cody. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, how are you? Oh, that one's open. Forgot they said it's not that one. Appreciate it. How are you doing? You too. What's up, y'all? We have my box. We just dropped off. I don't even know what's in here. I, I just—it's kind of hard to figure out what's in these things nowadays because you have put the, the stock. The stock is just horrible right now with uh, with everything. Especially when you have a company that has multiple locations, which all of them have multiple locations now. It's like you, uh, you just don't know, uh, you know, one location has some of the stuff you need, another location has other stuff you need. This one actually came out of Memphis because New Orleans is short of a lot of stuff right now. It's, they've got a different color. They've got different color. Uh, hey, Kim. I'll bring it to you in a minute. They've got different color invoice paper up there. Uh, one inch thumb turns. For some reason, Acme cannot get a, the mo one of the most freaking popular things in the world. A thumb turn. So I had to order inch and an eighth just so I would have them. Of course, uh, one bad thing about having inch and an eighth over one inch is I have to come in here because the inch and an eighth always has that cam so i always have to switch the cam it comes with both but the one inch comes with the adam's right cam the one inch and an eighth an inch and a quarter always come with the yale cam so i can't just slap it on the door you know uh so i got three of those just to hold me over until somebody uh either either i order from somewhere else who actually has stock or I am able to uh, wait long enough to get those. Also, it kind of looks funny on glass doors because normally you have, say, the one-inch cylinder uh, with a certain size spacer ring. Then you have to use inch and an eighth with a different size spacer ring. And uh, it ends up being just, it doesn't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, these are also horizontal rim cylinder tail pieces used for ASA cylinders. Obviously, these are needed when they break or when you have to convert the cylinder from mortise to rim. So a lot of days now, nowadays, a lot of people are switching, when they switch out glass doors, back then, narrow style glass doors used mortise cylinders. And if you had, you know, ASA cylinders on those doors they would uh take the doors off and i always say make sure you keep your cylinder off your door make the guys take the cylinder and there are every single time we, whenever we run up on that the guys are like why should we do that when it's a mortise and you have to have a rim for this and you're like it's convertible and they're like what do you mean convertible it's a mortise and you're like no it can be converted from mortise to rim it's a dual cylinder Shut up and give me my cylinders back. Anyway, uh, I used all of the, the... I had to actually scrape up some the other day to use them. Oh, WR5s are finally here, Kim. Yay! Hey, Kim. Hey. Hey, Kim. Hey. Hey, Kim. Hey. Hey, Kim. No. I want I do need to get some more here, Danny. We've only got three cans left. Okay, back to this. WR5s, they had uh, 90, and I was like, give them all to me. <laughs> just, just send me all 90 of them. So we were actually, we are actually gonna do a speed up count on that just to make sure, you know how we do. Uh, a couple of 11, uh, 12, just two, that's all they had. Two 1205 blows. Uh, I tried to get some reds if we look over here on my padlock case. I sold almost all my reds the other day. 
and I sold almost all my 1206 blue, which is an extended shackle. So Acme, I guess, refuses to carry 1206. They carry 1207s, but like nothing in 1206, and they didn't have reds. All that, so I was just like, well, since I don't, I, I like keeping at least six of each color, but because I didn't have reds and I've only got four blues, I went ahead and did a couple of blues, so at least we'd have six of one color. Uh, believe it or not, we have Schlag, but they were out of brass, 250 count. So, how do you, I don't understand how you run out of, out of keys. Out of keys. They're blaming it on Ilka. Uh, but when you check other websites that sell locksmith products, and you pull up Ilko Thumb Turns, which, by the way, LSDA Thumb Turns are made by Ilko, just rebranded. But when you pull up Thumb Turns on a certain other company's website, they have like 800. Why do they have 800 and, and Agni can't get 800? I ordered three or four of those and uh, I got two. These are just oobs. Pretty much the cheapest cylindrical, tubular, sorry, not cylindrical. Pretty much just a, kind of like a defiant lock almost, just cheap. I mean, people want cheap locks, which we have people have for them. Uh, but it's a wiser keyway, so. Uh, the other cheap version is the 70 series. It looks like a quick set, but it's a quick set version. And we sell a ton of Wiser, so this is a good substitute if somebody wants a cheap replacement for the Wiser. And literally, that's it. That was pretty much a sucky unboxing. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and give us a count on the Wiser keys just to verify, uh, which is kind of silly to do. I didn't ever used to do this, but uh, and it, it, even then, I don't know, prices of the keys have gotten so crazy. Let me, hold on, hold on, give me that. Give me that back, Kim. Yeah. yeah, you took it. There's been price increases on everything, y'all. Just raise your prices on everything. Uh, Wiser keys, no, they haven't gone up too much. They're a little bit more expensive than they were, but we recently went up on all of our standard keys. We're going to assume that's 50. This one for X is a 40. How do they end up with 40? Who, I mean, I understand there's some locksmiths out there that doesn't, you know, that doesn't stock a whole lot, but 10 wiser keys? I don't understand why you just order 10. If you're going to do that, just get the Ilco version, I guess, but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40, and we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna assume that's 50. So, uh, yeah, I will have to be putting in another order. I guess I'm gonna have to order through El Flaco to make up for uh, the lack of stock that uh, this one has. Uh, I don't like to keep all my eggs in one basket, which is why I order through multiple distributors, plus obviously LSDA. Uh, we do prefer LSDA. Flake wouldn't have those. They have their own version, but we've always used those, so that's that's good. All right, let's put all this up. Hold up, we, gotta, we do have to pull out these and get them ready for sale as well. So we'll go ahead and do that while we're over here. Oh, 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 oh y'all remember this? <laughs> y'all remember this? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Urgh. Urgh. Okay, hold on. This is one way to do this, right? This is how you use screwdriver bits, y'all just in case you weren't aware. Take your pliers, and then you turn them the right way. And take out the screw. That's exactly how you're supposed to use screwdriver bits. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my security wafers in these guys, and put them back together, and then we will uh, oh, go dump some Schlage keys. Luckily, I had more quick set than I had Schlage. 
But once again, I don't understand how one runs out of uh, quick set keys. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. But I don't ever order really from uh, Memphis. So not that big of a deal for right now because I got another order in soon. So let's go grab a few wafers. Do they even have them in here? They do. One of them. Uh, and then we'll go put this guy and this guy up. This guy goes in my Asa kit, which is uh, over there. So we'll just bring this with us. And these go in the truck. These go in the truck. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Come with me. Oh, come with me. Let us see how many wiser keys we had left. We have... How many times must I smack you before you act right? <laughs> One! That's right. One wiser key. Uh, and uh, we had moved these previously. Y'all may remember the video where we changed that around a little bit and hung up the WR3s. And, and we've only got a few of those. I probably should have ordered those too. So but let's just go ahead and dump these. stamp them and put them over by the camera thing ready to go but we've already got a bunch of those stamp ready to go so uh yeah we're okay on, we're okay on quick sets right now we are getting to the point where we have to dump these master locks if we scoot over here this is from previous orders and i usually don't dump them out till we get low so this is low <laughs> and that's low i'm gonna go ahead and dump these guys out and uh, maybe time to do the time to do the wild ones over here. They're, they're getting kind of low. Might as well. Might as well. Let's dump them towards the back. And then lift up. And push up. There we go. Let me get rid of these. I don't know why I have three nickel-plated Y1s here, but somebody needs to come by. Let's, let's just go ahead and get it all out of the way. Those boxes have been there for a minute. Oh, I love that. Come to think about it, I'm going to take these because I do need a batch of them. I used making keys for a freezer lock the other day. I uh, used a bunch of Y11s. I burnt three of them because of corrosion. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're reading and all that when they're, they're icky restaurant goo and stuff. So uh, definitely just going to go ahead and move those to the truck after I stamp them. And we've got a full thing here. So, all right. Oh, no, no. Come on, you two. Refill on boxes. Somewhere under here, I've got a house cat. Okay. Very valuable jar right there. Try to squeeze these in. Squeeze those in right there. I don't know how well it will stay. In fact, it may not stay at all. Okay. There we go. Good enough. 
those come with it and technically are, they are the official awesome ones but literally they're the same as all other rim cylinder uh, screw kits so I don't keep those product number on those is 8674539 no. <laughs> Okay, I missed. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought I hit that. Let's see. Yay. Anyway, thanks for watching y'all. Have a great one. If you have any questions, comments on this video, or any other one, post them in the comment section. We'll catch you next video. I was so busy just ending that video, thinking that I had to get the phone, and, and I really... Or really, Kim got the phone, so... Anyway, you know what to do. Oh. Holy crap, this is heavy. This is heavier than I thought it would be for a small box. What's up? Oh, Y'all, obviously we have a heavy unboxing and Kim must not have picked this up because she's like, did you get all your order in that thing? Yeah, they just packed it really well. So let's uh, plop it down on this glass countertop and take a look at today's unboxing because there's some stuff in there that I got to rekey before the end of the day today and it's already like five o'clock and I don't want to be here forever. So I got to unbox this and that's just what we're gonna do is get this guy on box so that I can get to it. Uh, this actually came two separate, might be a multi-day unboxing because this is only one part of the order. Uh, the rest of it had to come from Memphis. So what do we have to start off with? Thumb turn, something in this box. I'm very sad as a matter of fact. And that is, I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, what is this? Sergeant Key and Knob L A Thumb Turn. Okay, wait a minute. Thumb Turn. Now, y'all notice, normally I buy LSDA versions of this, but LSDA has been out of thumb turns for a minute, so we've got, we've got other stuff in here. Hold on, let's just get it all out. So... A uh, couple of ten blocks, a couple of four or five blocks. What is this? A1205 reds. Yeah, there we go. Sergeant LA, assorted tail pieces, key and knob, Schlage style. So, this is what I got to jump on Riki in. And they told me I was getting PLS. And then the invoice says tell. I don't know what to think, y'all. I don't know. Tell pro line. This is just, this is, just, <laughs> I don't want to tell pro line. I don't want it. But Acme was out of LSDA version, so I don't <laughs> I don't know how bad can it be. I go through them pretty quick, so Tell Pro Line is just scary to me. You know they're all made in Taiwan, so it doesn't really make a difference, I guess. Yeah, components, American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan. Well. I go through them quick enough so this won't hurt too bad. Hopefully I don't have to do any recalls on them. But anyway, I got a hook bolt, that's right. I got a storefront non-handed. I don't know these numbers. Oh shit, some of them don't have the end caps either. What the? Okay, so uh, dead latch. Yeah, I have one dead latch, I think. Two dead bolts and two hook bolts. So uh, hook, bolt. Hook bolt, dead bolt, dead bolt, dead latch, sergeant key and knob cylinders, which uh, let's just go ahead and take care of that right now. Hold up. Well, let's let's see what else we got in here, because all these have to be open. And then we had uh, one inch thumb turns. I think I got six or eight of those. So we have thumb turn, thumb turn, thumb turn, thumb turn. 
Sergeant US 10B. I need one of these for this order. Hey. Hello. What can we help you with? Okay, where were we? Uh, we had, uh, yep, yep, yep. I'll set this down. Where did I, where did I put? Let me figure out where we're at here. Okay, so this, 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 that. Thumb turn, Sergeant L.A. And actually, two more of these actually have to go out. Yep, that goes straight to the truck. You know, let me bring these thumb turns back because I want to compare them to LSDA. The GMS thumb turns have this fatter, I call it a fatter knob. Uh, and it actually doesn't, it doesn't, that doesn't help sometimes, especially if you have some of those frames that are really close uh, because it actually makes it harder than a smaller, but this is a little bit more, you know, I guess you could call it more handicap or ADA accessible. These are a little bit different from last time I got them. I think pretty nice. Seem pretty nice. All right, of course it comes with the standard cam too. Thumb turn, thumb turn. Let's move this up here so I can put them all. 26D, all of them. That's right. Sergeant 10B, and then we had a couple more LAs. And then, so that's going definitely to the truck. And then this is definitely the last thing that we didn't look at. I got a few other color keys coming in the order tomorrow. But it looks like they had sunflowers and the skull guy. So I'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna go ahead and lay this down and dump all these out as part of the unboxing because it is part of the unboxing. I guess in a way it is. It is. You can see how we deal with multiple recan here. All zero bitted. So one good thing about it is you'll have a bunch of zero bitted uh, sergeant keys. When you order these from LSDA, they come not zero bitted. So you end up having a bunch of five pin LSDA pre-cuts that you literally have no use for. Please don't ever use five pin on Sergeant unless you, unless you simply have to. So it's kind of a waste compared to this, at least with these. Now we do carry nickel silver Sergeant. That's all we sell. We don't sell these brass. But having the brass ones are good for certain things. You know what I mean? Certain, certain jobs. We certainly wouldn't use them on every job. And then these two have to go to a different customer. So we'll go ahead and unbox these two right there. And that leaves me with how many? How many did it leave me with? Two? Um, no. I think I'm gonna use them. Oh, no way, I need eight for one job, two for another. So that's actually gonna leave me with two for in the truck. And I do have two or three LSDA versions in the truck now. So I have, uh, how many do that? If I got three of those in the truck, that means I've got five cylinders. So we're gonna put these back and uh, key up those other ones. We're going to key them up because I've got padlocks coming in tomorrow. GMS padlocks. So we'll put these over here. They can go in the truck. Having all those GMS cylinders is going to bug me when I go to uh, start putting them in, mixing them in with my other, why are there no short tail pieces? That one, that one has two of the same. Okay, so we need we need this short guy. We don't need that one. That would have been bad if they all came with that. I I do have luckily a stockpile of tail pieces, but. These particular cylinders, these locks, Yale, if you're curious. Grade two Yale things. And what I'll do after I dump all these is I'll cut out the rest of these and either throw them in 
scrap metal because I really have got enough of these little tail pieces by long shots and not have to worry about saving these. So more than likely all of this will get just scrapped. Scrap a rude. And uh, then the other ones are gonna have the tail pieces that go into the padlock cylinder, so I wouldn't be using any for that. So two, four, six, eight, with a bunch of keys. We'll go ahead and collect these keys and hang them up over there. Because for this job, we were using the nickel silver original keys. And, uh, and then this guy has to come out. So. And it's gonna need a, yep, Adam's right, tail pace, and then these for the other job. Okay, let me go uh, get all this out of my hand. And uh, so we've got, which padlocks did we get over here? We got red, and I still haven't done the blues from last, last order. We got them apart there, but it's like we got some padlock issues that I got to deal with. Somebody bought all my reds the other day. Okay. All right. I'm going to move all this over to the pen and bench and uh, scrap this, I guess. Oop. Oop. You go there. You go there. Okay. That's good. See here we have a special use only LA section that is means basically brass keys or using them for just various tasks where I know I've got to just have a temporary key cut to say get in a room or something I'll use these instead of the more expensive ones so that'll fill up my hook nicely well, I do need 15 original keys though so two four Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. That's for that order. All I can say of that is It's raining tail pieces. Hallelujah. Got the locks we lost this week are building up over here, y'all. Shouldn't take too long at all. I like the color scheme on those. All of you are going in the truck. Tell. Tell. I must do the whole thing away until I realize these boxes are handy.
not half bad back there. Huh? Hmm. It was interesting. Okay, let's just go ahead and get these knocked out real quick. Right, we got them keyed up and ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna fast forward through this part because literally it's just a bunch of unscrewing. Okay, I got my uh, got my order done there, y'all. And tomorrow we will have the rest of that come in, and I can do the padlocks. Then I, I got to get out of here. It's like six fifteen, so I still have all those padlocks to deal with and throw those in the truck. But since we have another order coming in, I guess this will be a two parter. So see you tomorrow. I got the rest of the order in. Yeah. Shouldn't be too much in here, just a few keys. And some padlocks. Keys and padlocks. These are the uh, GMS padlocks. And they used to carry them in the SAX or the Yale Keyway, but, or not Yale, SAX is Sergeant LA. Uh, but apparently they did not have those, so I had to buy the composite. That is an awful big box for, for that. But okay. Okay, so keys and, and keys. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Keys. <laughs> Guess that's one way to provide padding. Let's take a look at this. Two of them are going to go straight out to somebody. So these are uh, GMS Kia knob style padlocks with a little retainer and all that. <laughs> so there we go. We've got a couple of extra ones. Ooh. Oh, oh, shoot, that blew up. I don't think that's supposed to blow up. Uh-oh. I got to assemble that one. No. No, no, no. All right. So, uh, let's us go ahead and just keep these separate hang up these few keys that we got here and then we'll, we'll make these padlocks work with their cylinders hey okay put our little doodads in here I like it better when the core comes part of it. Plus, it's cheaper, but you have to do what you have to do sometimes. It is what it is. Okay, back off probably two right there. Get in there. Right. 
too. Let's go ahead and check the keys. Good. And good. Oh shoot, no, that was a screwdriver up there. Let's figure out why this guy blew up. Oh, I see one. It, uh, it blew up, blew up. Let's see if we can get it back together here. Toot, toot, toot somewhere in here, toot, toot, toot. And, toot, perfect. Toot, and check it. Uh oh. We are strip, strip, stripped. Uh, okay. Strip, stripped. Let's see. Let's see why we're stripped. Guess we need a longer screw. Shut up. Two most important things. Screws. A different head shape and style. And a cutter. To cut it. That would be this guy, I guess. Nope, this guy. That's it. That's it. Yep, we need to trim this guy down a little bit. This is the best use for this thing. Pretty much the only use for this thing unless you do electrical work. They made their screws a little too short. Okay. That's it. Go oh, keys. Got to do keys.
Thank you. Mm, bye bye. Did you enjoy that unboxing and stocking, Kim? Sure. Of course I did. Okay. Okay, good. I don't know what to add to that. <laughs> hey, we're back with yet another unboxing. This is actually kind of part of all the same ones. So I don't know if I'm going to put it all together or not. So uh, we're going to see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. It's gonna look very familiar. Get out of the way. Get out the way. Look, all sorts of yellow. Yellow and white paper. Oh, we have got fancy. Oh, we've gotten fancy. Okay. Quarter inch for inch and an eighth mortar cylinders. Quarter inch spacer ring. Duronautic. 2F. Uh, I'm in the midst of redoing my best core kit and uh, I try to keep at least two of everything and I realized I didn't have any Fs. Uh, more, more like that. Space earnings quarter inch in aluminum. Space earnings 3 sixteenths inch in aluminum. The sizes are designated by the F. So 861F is that. 861Q is the thicker. This is used to reduce one inch for storefronts. So if you sell a one inch mortise cylinder or a one inch thumb turn like so, Almost always, you would use the F. If you say we're putting in a CRL four that's an inch and an eighth, because it would be dumb to order a one inch because inch and an eighth would only work with six pin. And while you technically could do a five pin CRL four, that's just ridiculous to do. Therefore, it's a longer bit, a little bit longer cylinder and requires a little bit thicker spacer. So on the inch and an eighth, you would go that. And then of course, inch and a quarter, you would go the next size up, which I don't know what letter that is, so I don't really care. So one inch, 10B, 10B. Uh, and here we start uh, repeating. Y'all might notice the other day, I got these guys in. So uh, yeah, so that's, that's, here's the issue. And then, and then we've got these guys look familiar too. Thumb turn, thumb turn. 36D because LSDA's thumb turns are out of stock right now. So I actually have like 10 thumb turns. That's kind of okay. Oh, we need to go up, don't we? It's kind of okay. I don't really need that many thumb turns, but we'll find a way to use them. Uh, dead lat, so yes, with this and this, I, uh, I got the tail brand. <laughs> and I know there are, I know everybody's like, it's the same thing, like, don't worry about it. Which I, I've kind of resigned myself to the fact. Uh, but apparently Agme is also, or my location at Agme in New Orleans is out of the, both the deadlocks and the hook bolts which is why I had to order those, not kind of knowing that I'd be getting tail brand in. I'm sorry, professional tail. Uh, and then we have the, the 10B. There's another repeat. You all know I just used one of those cylinders for the job. That's okay. I'm going to keep these. That'll give me, that'll give me three of those now. Uh, and, and that's the same as, where is it? Right there. So... The only thing that irritates me about this whole situation is the the consistency, the <laughs> the box differences, it's different size boxes. Y'all think it's not a big deal, but these fit in my drawer in my van perfectly, like this, facing up so that I could see it. These 
don't. They won't, the drawer won't close when they're standing up this way where you can see the lettering. And you can put them this way, but you can't see the lettering and, and it's, it's too high if you stack them. So, uh, I, I know that seems petty, but you know, it's just, it's irritating. It's irritating. Quick set brass keys. Uh, and, and then this is kind of the most irritating thing. I don't know if I need all 10 of these Sergeant LA cylinders because those were directly ordered. Eight of those were directly ordered for a customer. Now I will say I do keep cylinders in stock. Rust one keyway, I, I usually keep them like four to five, maybe six, especially with rust one D1 because we go through them so much. I don't necessarily know if I want to hold on to 10 plus the six that I've already got. The 16 cylinders may take me a minute to go through, whereas I could just send them back and, uh, and just use the credit. But I don't think I need to keep that many, but uh, you know, as soon as I send these 10 back, I'll have a customer come in saying, hey, I've got 10 lever handles and I need to, uh, have sergeant locks put in or one of our door guys will do it which is typically the most common thing that'll happen anyway that's it so that's what i mean by this being a kind of a repeat of an order and and you might notice on the other ones i did not get the spacer rings i was initially going to reject this again because uh, and i say again because it first came in with 400 dollars worth of padlocks that were not meant to be ordered i was we were asking if they had them in stock they sent us $400 worth of padlock, so we rejected that order, and they automatically sent us this before asking. So uh, if they would have called and said, hey, do you need all those items still? I would have been like, no, I don't need these. Uh, but since it was their mistake, then uh, I don't know. I don't know. i got to think about that. But literally pretty much all this is going to go uh, in the van, uh, but not right now because I still have this that i got to put in there too. So it's a lot of stuff to uh, repack at that point. It's uh, almost necessary to uh, like redo the whole section when I have that many that I got to put in there. And it's happened before with Corbin cylinders and stuff, but typically I go through them pretty quick. I'll probably end up keeping them. I don't wanna, but I guess I will. Quick set keys. We, uh, I was stamping them earlier, trying to get to the bottom of the thing so that I could put them in there and hadn't gotten that far with my stamping yet. And then here underneath my Dremel, y'all might, everybody was screaming Dremel about the, uh, the antique video I did the other day. Yep, there's my Dremel. It's still, it's still unopened. I've had that for like three months and you can see here's all my, my best cylinders about to go into this guy really should unbox this one day really really think i should anyway that's it um i gotta go work now i'm gonna stamp some keys probably stamp up the rest of these keys it looks like about 40 or 50 but we'll go through those in the next few days so yeah Hey, Kim. Hey, Jason. Hey, Kim. Hey, Jason. This is... What's up, Chuck? There's a lot of paperwork here. You might need to go through that. Shake that thing at me. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments on this video or any other ones, post them in the comments section. And until next time, did you see I put the new sticker up over there? They're not dumb here. <laughs> Nowhere.